The East Central Methodist softball team has put together quite a season, including matching the highest ranking in program history. But as ABC 17's Natalie Jones tells us, none of that would have been possible without a do-over from CMU's most dynamic duo. Her academic achievements include a scholar athlete. Graduation season is all about tradition, from the ceremonies to the last to those goodbyes. Summa cum laude. But just one year ago, not everyone got those goodbyes. I was prepared for my last year, but not prepared for it to obviously end so soon. Within a week, it was like, oh yeah, so excited for the season and everything, and then you know, we can't even leave our house. By now, it's a common story. A season ending at the hands of COVID-19 when just days before, the CMU Eagles had just gotten back from a trip to Florida. The next day or the day after that, we got the email that everything was over. And a lot of girls, like, cried and stuff, and I, I just, you just don't know what to do. Like, you're just like, what now? And when I had to walk in here and tell them that, you know, hey, we're done, go home, um, that was hard. Just like I talked to you the other day. But then came a bit of a curveball an extra year of eligibility. I wasn't for sure about it. I was like, it's a big commitment. That some of them had different things already planned. There was a lot of tears and a lot of, you know, hey, I really want to come back, but is it really going to be worth it for me to come back? Morgan Willis and Jordan Jenkins were actually the only two seniors who decided to come back. But it is different. You know, you have girls that are coming in that you just never thought you'd meet before, you know, some of these freshmen. I was never supposed to meet him, maybe, you know, as an alumni coming back. This unexpected group has high expectations. I thought we were going to go all the way last year. Uh, we didn't have the, obviously, not nearly as good of a start last year as we did this year, but I definitely could see it this year. I, I expect to be here until June. But it also has an appreciation for the little things. Being in my 29th season, you know, you just kind of you just kind of take for granted. February's going to roll around. You're going to go travel some places, you're going to play games, you're going to do this. The conference season will roll around, you'll play this, you'll go to the conference tournament. One thing that always manages to come around, though, is a goodbye. <laughs> it's going to be hard being on that field for what might be the last time. In that moment, I know it's, it's going to hit me. And the Eagles got a second chance to take flight. Reporting in Fayette, Natalie Jones, ABC 17 Sports. The Eagles fell in the conference tournament this past week, and they now turn their attention toward the NAIA tournament. CMU will host the opening round starting a week from tomorrow.